What's up, guys? My name is Loverfella, and welcome back to part three of the base defense. Blue Tribe is moving in pretty quickly. Uh, they're doing, I mean, they're they are literally even going for like six hours. I actually took a nap, and I'm back now, and they've blown in one of our gates. Now, keep in mind everything that they're doing. Okay, audio's fixed. I have to open my Vive software to make it work, but they're coming in uh, basically all day. They just want to wipe us. Got a lot of people that just want to wipe me, basically. And I think our rule will be once one tribe gets wiped, they'll get three days maybe to build up um, without any raids. PvP will be allowed, but no raids. So, uh, we're gonna have to take this guy out for sure. I don't know. I'm not gonna be doing much damage here to it. Alright, guys. So, uh, basically our tribe found out we weren't as prepared as these guys were. They've just been keeping the pressure up. And this is some crazy, absolutely insane PvP. But they've been climbing the spiral and just placing turrets the whole way up. And, uh, a lot of people have gotten off on our tribe just because it's like, people aren't able to stay on that long to raid. But it's giving me some freaking awesome content. So, I hope you guys are enjoying it. It has been super fun to play. Um, but they definitely have a writer, alright? I can see the writer on there. Where is he? There he is. Let's see if I can't hit him. Oh, there's a 22 on him. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, did I? Someone got him. I don't know if that was me or someone else, but I was definitely hitting him. All right, guys. They're still blowing in pretty... Uh, they're doing a pretty good job of it, honestly. Big respect to these guys. They're pro. Uh, item cash is down here. We got two kills, it looks like, when people came up here. Oh, dude down there sniping. I don't want to get hit because I got, like, no armor on right now. But we're running low on a lot of resources. Blue Tribe is clearly the dominant one right now. People just want me wipe super bad. They have like they have like 180 members, I think, and we have how many do we have right now? Uh, we are up to 90. They have almost double what we have, so it's it's a little bit ridiculous, but it's still pretty fun. And uh, we'll get a few days to recover if they do wipe us, which is probably pretty likely. Okay, all right, all right. So I was just talking to some of my uh, some of my friends in the other tribe, and they said apparently some official tribe joined and brought a bunch of their official friends. So. It's no wonder they're raiding us so easily and so quickly. A lot of official players, especially you guys out there, would probably be the same. Official players are different than unofficial players. Just kind of due to the fact that uh, they play the game very different. They play the game a lot more serious. They play it a lot more frequently. And uh, the thing is that none of us are really that involved in ARC. Like, these people kind of treat it like a full-time job, to be completely honest. And so, um, that's not my body. So maybe one of these are up here. That might be it. Oh, if I can reach it, I might die. Hey, that's mine. These people treat the game like a job. Official players are crazy. They know all the best ways to raid, best ways to do everything. They, they know all the tricks and stuff. And so um, our tribe doesn't have many. So if you guys want to help the underdogs and you want to join my tribe and hang out with me, that'd be sweet. But, uh, you know, it's just it's crazy how good some of these people are. You got to give them respect for it. I mean, they know how to raid. They don't mess around. And uh, I think when uh, raiding a YouTuber is on the um, kind of an option, people get real excited because it's just I mean, I would do it, too. But it has been a blast nonetheless. We're trying to get stuff flown out of here as quick as we can. Um, I mean, it's a pretty big base, but there's really honestly not much we can do. They've been raiding us for hours, and uh, it's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And as always, if you guys want to join, um, take a peek over here and see if uh, see if we have any. Oh, there's some. Oh yeah, there's quite a few of them down there still. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of them there. I mean, they're just really good at everything they do. So we got to be real careful back here. Um, don't want to get too involved. We're going to try to get a plan to get this stuff saved. So let's see what we can do. All right. We have people with six minute respawn timers right now. And I think just this whole official tribe is coming at us right now. I don't know who they are, but I can look through this window or this little glass area right here. You can see they've got like three, at least three snipers that I can see right there. It looks like maybe four. Um, that appears to be a fob. And then we have all of our own incomplete turret towers. Unfortunately, we didn't get time to make them. So I think we'll be fine if we, uh, end up getting wiped here we'll be able to rebuild we're a little bit more organized now even though we're severely outnumbered i think we're gonna be okay i'm gonna go check this out looks like it what in the heck i'm not even touching it that doesn't even make sense what i'm gonna try to climb up here real quick and see if this is a sniper tower and if it is i might be able to take a couple quick shots of them from up here um okay wow what is that oh it, it is a really cool looking sniper tower actually look at this thing crazy looking all right, so they're definitely bringing up a stego. There's a dude. See, can I even shoot through this? I wonder if I will or not. Is it shooting? I can't tell if it's going through all those all those metal walls. It doesn't look like it's doing any damage, but this is one of the cooler sniper towers I've seen. I don't know how they built this. It's like really weird. They stacked it so you can like peek out. Ooh, that's a great idea. Great design, whoever did this. Fantastic work. It'll be a shame to see that fall. I got a couple flame arrows left though, so I guess I'm going to do my part and try to... Oh my gosh, that Rex tail doesn't even make sense. Man, ArcDevs, you guys gotta fix your problems on this game. Um, okay. 
Let's see. All right, all right, all right. 130. Dude, they just boom, get you right away. Huh? All right, guys, there's some massive lag no coming because of how many bullets are being shot. Is that our poison grenade? Okay, so they're over there trying to take out this turret tower. That's their goal right now to take that out. That we got people trying to pick up everything with a demo gun. Uh, what is that? Is that some kind of base down there or something? Hey, oh, that must be a quetzal. Phoenix. Okay, that must be a quetzal down there. Okay, so everyone inside, start picking up what you can and just start taking it to a new spot. Hitting like 11s and 8s, that's the problem. It's so hard to... Oh, 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 he went down, he went down. Got him with a turret. Definitely here's some rockets. Our turret tower is hurting. Okay, and there's a sniper on me. Dude, this guy's killed me every single time. Aquar N. He was in like two videos ago. He kept sniping me too. Um, but 53 seconds. Nice. If you're not doing anything at base, um, and you can't do anything, then just try to get... Um, Get some birds here, like die and respawn somewhere else and like fly back with a bird if you can. Oh, there's a nice shot on him. Got a five though. Like they have such good armor, it's like impossible to hit him. Um, but they're just right around this corner, scoping us out. There's a 12. I'm, I'm I've hit him twice, so that's pretty good. Love to hit him with a flame arrow because I do some good damage. But oh, killed him. Dude just ran. Oh, dude ran right up next to me. Oh, they're trying to get me. Oh yeah, trying to get me with that grapple. Nice. There we go. Bring the Therizinosaur out. I'm gonna clean this guy up. Leg day. Got your stuff, buddy. I don't know if you were in my tribe or the other tribe, but that was pretty clean. And someone out here is shooting fi flame arrows. Look at them. Taking twos, taking fives. They aren't taking much damage at all right now. There's Xenosaur went for it. Rex is taking some big damage. Um, but we did this thing anyway where in our base we put up uh, glass walls here that are actually here, right? You see there's a big thing at the bottom, X XL glass wall. But we made them invisible from the options, and so it looks like we're just dodging their shots, but really they're shooting the glass wall. So they have no idea that's why they're actually not hitting us. So it's pretty cool design. A little bit sneaky. Um, oh, there's a dude. There's a dude. Oh. See if I can't. I really want to get a flame arrow on that dude. Oh, you know what would be cool if I grappled him, actually? Since he's trying to do that to me, let's try that to him. See what we can get here. That's a miss. Alright, he's aiming right at me now. I can see him right over there. Did you need to go to other bases to get flyers? Spook him. Alright, our automated turrets are getting a lot of kills now, so it seems like uh, they're kind of struggling to get into this part. And keep in mind again, everything is 0.25 damage. Come on, baby, get back here. Everything's 0.25 damage the first two days, and so that means it's really hard to actually raid us um, compared to normal. So let's get him back here real quick, get a little bit more sniping. And that goes for every structure, so every turret, every plan X, everything that there is. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, so close. Oh, that was a reasonable grapple in this. Oh, I was gonna say, it's gone. Automated turret killed Raider. We've killed him quite a few times. That dude's trying to grapple me. I'm trying to grapple him. It's like grapple battles up in here. Gotta shoot a little bit lower. There we go. I got it right. Zoned in now. Right there. A little bit higher. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me, give, come to lover. Come to lover. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. He keeps like going in there and sneaking back out. But like things weren't looking too good. Things still really aren't looking that great. Um, but I don't feel terrible. Oh, something. there's a dude right there, there's yeah, a dude right there. I was taking some bullet damage from that, uh, foundation. Here, Someone's so growling on the rest for a little bit of intimidation factor right there, which is great. I do like the intimidation moves. Those are big plays when we're getting raided like this. Yeah, that's pleasant to hear. Pleasant noise to the ear. Alright, we get all that. See, look, they're running out of armor, though, if you look at them. No shirt on that dude. So, what are the odds I can get a snipe if I lay down here? Let's see. Let's see what the odds are. Come on, come on. All right, that's 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 they're they're all growling on Rexes now. All right, intimidation. I don't know what's going on. Oh, what? Nope, nope, nope. I gotta cut it. Oh gosh, dang, they got me. Wow, I cannot believe that. You gotta cut it with a sword to get out of it, but uh, wasn't quick enough on that. So pretty good kill. Um, you know. I die a lot. That's what this server is showing me right now. These official guys don't mess around. Try this. All right, guys, back at it. Back at that grind. There's just kills left and right. We're dying. They're dying. Killing each other up top. It's like, I feel like no one's coming out ahead. Okay, and is that our? I thought that was our armor vault, and I was like, did we really lose all that armor already? I crafted a bunch, like almost all of this earlier is what I was making for us. Um, uh, unfortunately, I lost some of my good stuff a second ago. But it's like, you know, we kill them, we lose armor. They kill us. It's just like back and forth, stealing things, losing things, and it's like you never know who's gonna actually be uh, losing. What I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but uh, I definitely need a chest plate. So let's get these repaired. Unfortunately, some people are putting broken 
pieces back in here. What they need to be doing is putting them into the smithy, which is our repair smithy. Um, well, it, it was until the stuff's gone, but we need to start repairing stuff. One of them. Guys, part three, I'm hearing people say they're bringing up the Pariser, and, uh, oh, it looks like either we are or they are. Something's right outside our gate with a mega box on the top of it. Hopefully the driver is not enclosed. It's not technically a rule, but it will soon be a rule. Um, not gonna go ahead and, like, call it out now, but it's coming soon. Um, so that guy's got a pretty massive thing on it, but it actually is taking pretty good damage. And they're really confused when they can't walk in. I think if they brought anyone in there, and they thought they would just be walking in the front gate, but our little trick tactics worked out. So they got to get through a whole new wall they probably weren't expecting, which is pretty sweet. Um, I still don't have full armor. Uh, we're out of metal completely. It's it's drastic situation right now, but it's still a blast. Dude, I think they realized they couldn't walk through it and just walked back with it. <laughs> All right, so to update you, since I've been gone for a couple minutes here, we have a bunch of Rexes uh, that we're probably going to do like a run in and just try to like go crazy. Uh, someone built a catapult here. I have no idea why, but it, it does look pretty cool. And pretty much we're going for the uh, intimidation factor style now. We've lost all hope on surviving this. And so, you know, we've got our invisible wall here, um, which is a pretty cool design. We've got a couple other walls over here that are now invisible. Um, we're just going to try to, you know, scare them, growl a little bit on the Rex, and uh, that's not good. Um, so it seems to be not working, to be honest with you, but uh, we're going to keep on trying it anyway. And uh, there's really not a lot we can do. If we run out there, we get sniped. But here's what I'm noticing. Oh, wait, I don't have any scope anymore because I lost them all. They do still have armor. So that's a problem. And we can't really leave our base, so that's a problem. And we're out of flyer, so that's a problem. But we'll be able to rebuild pretty quickly with a grace period and get back on it. So it's not all lost if we do end up getting wiped. All right, we got an Argent right there. Everyone's just kind of spamming that Argent. Um, hopefully we can... Oh, come on. Reload, reload. Hopefully we can take it down before they can whistle it back. Maybe a lot of them are dead or something or going back, but... Alright, killed a 242 Argent, so that felt real good. Let's see if it has anything in it, too. It had... Uh, got a saddle. Okay, maybe not the best, but we got a saddle. Cool. Hey, why okay, Pelagornis is because of the lag? Alright, guys, Pariser came back, fell for our glass wall trick again. Didn't realize that we had a wall there. Uh, it's actually pretty heavily damaged, um, so we're going to see... I don't know, it's not really doing a lot of damage. Must have a pretty good saddle on it. But uh, I guess, I'm guessing they have a lot of people in the back of it. A lot of people like trying to walk in there. Um, but I don't know really what, what's inside of it. So we're just going to see if we can get this thing killed. Everyone on the Pariser, everyone. All right, Poison Liver's coming at us now. I'm running low on arrows, but I've got a couple more back at base. If we can get a couple fire arrow hits. Feels like it's just out of range right there. Oh, he's shooting. He's shooting right at our passives too. Not. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got some hits on it now. Fire arrows are just going up like crazy on this guy. Uh, problem is, oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, we killed it. Oh. Got, guys, we killed the driver. We killed the driver. Killed the poison wyvern. Wyvern's dead. Or the driver's dead. Kill the wyvern. <laughs> so our whole turret tower there is completely out of bullets. And keep in mind, everything is 0.25 damage, and they're still getting in super easily. Uh, looks like they're trying to take out this tower now. So, um, yeah, I feel like we're going down for sure. So I'm just going to record this and kind of show you guys what's going on. Um, but wow. Yeah, there's not, there's not a whole lot we can do. They just have so many more members than us. I think we have, like, 15 online. I think they have, like, 35 to 50 online. Like almost the entire server is them at this moment. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what we expected. People like to raid me. But um, if you guys are looking to join, uh, definitely come help out the Lover Squad. We need your help, guys, uh, for our rebuild, which is coming in soon. Don't get sniped. Don't get sniped. I got sniped. Uh, it's coming in soon, uh, along with the Vive videos, which will be hopefully taking over this channel soon. So I hope you guys are ready for some of those. So uh, let's just uh, watch this thing crumble. All right, guys, should we just take a Rex run in and just get in there and do it? Uh, I don't know. I say do not. Hey. You'd probably get sniped off. Probably. Should we just do it, though? Because we're going to... I say you have to get on okay. a Rex. Move out. Move out. Chase it down. Yeah, I just got go sniped off. We're shooting at our Rexes. Push it off the edge. Get it down there. I think there's people go, go. inside. Go, 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 There's people go, go. inside the base. That's okay. We're all in this Parasaur. I'm going for it, guys. Yeah, that Parasaur took a lot of damage from me. That was a couple thousand. You guys should just go for our fob. That's still down here. No, we should go for killing as many tames as possible so they have less stuff to take home. Take it down, take it down, take it down. Okay, no, guys, we should go all of them should dead. Right, I think we got this parasite. Good work, tribe. Corner it. Once it breaks, everyone in it's gonna die. Just keep it in here, he's stuck. Hitting real good on it. Once you, once you kill it, bail back to base because there'll be I gear to sort out people. for sure. Oh, yeah, that's a good move, guys. That's a good move right there. There it goes. Also, <laughs> Dude, that was fucking up. I'm taking all the best. I'm taking uh just some good stuff that'll help us. All right, and everyone I'm follow try me to on the get on a bird. Here. 
and fly oh off, all right? This way. Do it. I've done it before, but I don't think you find There's so a dude. Much. There's a dude down here. He fell. Come on. Got him. I got him. That's t that's Keep two. Keep coming, guys. Nice lover. This is the move. We should have brought these Rexes out two episodes ago. <laughs> How many Rip your Rexes. You that was yeah. awesome, guys. Now we just gotta figure Whoa, out how to get him back. You just picked up. me with a Quetzal. That was actually pro. A Quetzal pick? Were you on a Rex? No, I was on the Therese. I jumped on the Therese, you know, again. Right. He picked me off. Hey, they have a Rex. They have a Rex. Is that right, theirs? At the wall, we need to encumber a bunch of Let's go in, oh, That's their dude, guys. He's bouncing up on the wall. They've also got a Stego Holy down there, really bloody. It's almost dead. See that dude up on the wall? We gotta get him off. Oh, that's their Wyvern, too. Okay. Alright, that's a strong Wyvern. Okay. Oh, uh, Wait, Hopper, you on that Rex? I am guys. trying to kill no, this one. No, I got picked! Hopper, you're gonna die. I am definitely gonna die. Holy cow, that's a 353 Wyvern. <gasps> yeah, I got picked, fun. but he didn't kill me. Are we still being attacked? <laughs> oh, Rex. Yeah, still. <laughs> it's been an all-day venture, man. It has been, but three days to rebuild. We know what to do. I think we'll be perfect. I'm still not dead, man. Hey. Plus, I've uh, got three days straight. Hey guys, so we're doing a little bit better now. Got some kills under our belts. Uh, I've gotten quite a few kills myself, and uh, that's a pretty cool hat we just stole from them. I'm going to put that on myself. Can I not? Oh, it's a dino hat. Okay, cool. Uh, but we're getting some good stuff from them. All this good stuff in here. They have Trank Darts, C4, uh, a little bit of armor, but um, we're slowly killing their stuff. They're slowly killing our stuff. Who's going to run out first? Probably us, because we have less people. Right, guys, they've got some pretty crazy tames. 350 Wyvern, which is super high for day two. That's pretty impressive. Uh, not much we can do about it, so we're going to just move everything we can. Try to keep what we can alive. Uh, you know, probably not much. And uh, we're going to get two days to rebuild, I guess is what I said. Two days, 40 hours of freedom. Rebuild the base. Uh, get some new guys in here. If you want to join us, you know what to do. Um, but, you know, I think we did, we did pretty good. Uh, it was a really long raid. Probably 10 hours. This is three full videos on this defense, but I've actually got to go because I've got some stuff to take care of, including a final paper. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to spread the love, and I'll see you all tomorrow. We could say wrecked chat. That's how do you